So today is a very special day. Um, I normally like to lead these webinars by announcing who I am. I'm Sean Kozak. I'm one of the founders of ArcAI. I'm the chief architect of development and systems. And this is not a webinar that was, um, you know, just a normal event. There's a reason we took a long time to release this product. Uh, it's been in development for a very long time, and it's also the backbone to literally one of the most successful and most profitable trading systems that has ever hit the industry through our ecosystem. Uh, the AT Trader is actually an indicator that was used amongst some of the most profitable traders that we've ever seen come through our, our community, our trading chat rooms. Uh, the AT Trader is an indicator that was built, and we actually ran trading rooms for a long time using it. And we have probably more traders in our company ecosystem using the AT Trader than any other indicator that we've ever built. And we had so many people requesting us to automate it. Can you automate the AT Trader? Can you automate the signals? Can you automate this into an algo? And the reason we didn't do it right away was because it's an indicator-based automation system, right? Indicator-based systems take a lot more time to code, a lot more time to build, a lot more development manpower behind it. And uh, so we're really, really excited for this because, you know, I asked a question at the beginning of this webinar, how many people are using the AT Trader or at least have the indicator? And I would say over 60% of you said yes, which is a huge amount of people. So without further ado, I'm really grateful that you're here today. This is a very important event for most people because it's going to address a large amount of our audience's requests. And there's more to it than just an algo. Uh, this is going to be more than an algo event. There's some stuff that I'm going to be covering here that's going to kind of build relevance to why we automated this and why I truly believe there's a lot of people ask, hey, you know, you've got 20 algos. Which one should I buy? Well, I need a profitable system. I'm a prop trader. I, I want to pass my programs. What should I use? Well, there's a, there's things that you you consider and there's things you just get. And this is one of those things that I truly believe you're going to just want to have. And you're going to see why in just a moment. Okay, now I am recording this event. We're going to send out that replay once we're done the presentation. Jim and Jeff are here to answer any questions that you may have, uh, as well as Ashley. I won't be going over Q&A until after the event, just so I can stay on topic. And uh, yeah, let's get into it. So <clears throat> need to cover a quick disclaimer, as always, by regulation, guys. Uh, please do me a favor and take a look at this. Uh, please understand the risks or don't get involved in the business. And if you could all give me a why in the chat box so that I know you accept this disclaimer, I can proceed like professionals. Excellent. Thank you. So I want to talk a little bit about understanding performance metrics. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk a little bit about what we will look at more from an algorithmic perspective. I, I want this to be more than just a webinar. I really want to dial in some golden nuggets. Are you okay if I kind of deviate into algorithmic education a little bit, teach you some golden nuggets from the quant side, a little bit stuff from system mechanics. Yes, we're going to go over the algo, but I really want to make sure that you learn a lot from this as well, not just talk about product. And if you're going to be an algo trader, I do think that building and testing, optimizing and all that is a big question. A lot of people don't know what to look at, what their performance is telling them, what they're aiming for, et cetera. So most of you, if I'm not mistaken, are trading for prop firms. Yes. Can you guys just type a Y if you are in an eval or you're trying to get funded or you're in a performance account or a funded account or whatever you want to call it? Yeah. Almost everybody. Yes. Okay. So what is the what is the biggest thing that everybody needs to understand when it comes to prop trading? Right? Well, most people think that they're trading on a 50k account or a 100k account. They're not. You are not. You are not trading on that. That is your account size. You are trading on whatever it is your drawdown is and whatever it is your target, which gives you a target to draw down ratio, okay? And the biggest issue that most traders don't realize is the difference between an end of day drawdown 
and a trailing drawdown. Now, there's a lot of controversy about end of day versus trailing. And almost everybody that complains about a trailing drawdown is because they don't understand the aspect of quick targets and scaling out of trades while they're in a profit. Certain firms use a trailing drawdown because they know that if a trader is profitable under those environments, they're most likely going to be better traders. Now, there is an exception. There are a few traders that their strategy is best using an end of day drawdown, maybe just due to the swings that they take, or maybe because they're holding on for large, large runner trades. And if you're a big trend trader, or if you're trading these big, big runs, trailing drawdowns may or may not be the best for you. Okay. But the truth is you don't really get these huge, huge trades every single day. And prop firms know this. So their job is to identify traders that can scalp quickly and that they can put capital behind scalpers. Prop firms are geared towards scalpers because they know that you're not going to hit a grand slam trade every single day. And those that do are very far and few between. In order to be effective in those environments, there's a few things you want to pay attention to. You want to pay attention to your risk reward ratios. Okay. Okay. And you want to pay attention to your win rates. Why? Because the goal of most traders is to not kick out their trailing drawdown. We built the AT trader for this type of trading. We built the AT trader to accommodate prop firm traders. We didn't build the AT trader so that you could ultimately just have another signal system. It was specifically designed to give you very high probability trades so that when you take them, you have a very high probability of hitting very quick targets and getting risk off the table so that you're not breaking your trailing drawdown. How many of you guys would agree that that's a pretty good concept? If you have a system that is designed for quick targets, you can keep your profits without kicking out your trailing drawdown. How many of you guys would agree that that makes sense? Yeah, scalping and in and out. There's a reason this is so good is because I'm a big component of TIM. Anybody in here remember what I did in the last couple of webinars when I talked about TIM? What does it mean? I don't know if anybody remembers what I said. What does T stand for? I don't know if you guys remember this. Time. Yes, Chad gets it. So time. And then what does the I stand for? In, yes. And what does the N stand for? Market, okay. Your biggest enemy is the time in the market. Why? Because you have more time to be proven wrong. So if you have a system that is geared towards getting you very quick targets with a high expectancy and you have limited time to market, you have a winning edge. This is exactly what the AT Trader was built on because of the trend line breaks. And we're going to talk about that here today. So we're going to get into this. I just wanted to kind of lead with this because I do think it's important that you understand the when a strategy is designed, what it's designed for, okay? Now, nothing bothers me more than a sleazy salesman, right? I, I know I'm on the mic here and we have a business and we, have, we sell products, but I know when someone's bullshitting me and I know when someone's trying to pull wool over my eyes. I've been in the business long enough to know if I'm in a, if I'm in a store trying to buy a TV, I know if the salesman's just full of you-know-what or if he's actually going to help me find what I need, Right. How many of you guys would agree you can spot the bullshit a mile away, <laughs> right? Yes or no? Are, am I on the same page? How many of you guys would go into a store and you can tell the difference between a sleazy salesman or someone that's actually giving you some, some good information, right? Well, I know for a fact that there is a lot of traders in here struggling. So I'm not going to sit here and try to tell you that, oh, you know, like you, you got to let your winners run and you got to count your risk. You've all heard that before, Okay. I do believe that there is no way you will ever trust something unless you see it working. I am a big believer of seeing is believing. It's no different than if you go to the gym and you want to get in shape. You're not going to listen to somebody that is fat. No offense to anyone here that's overweight, but you're more likely going to get a better expectancy from your clients if you're in shape, right? If you're in the gym and your job is personal training, if you've got six pack abs, you're more than likely going to get more clients because they're going to trust you because your body resembles your mindset and your mindset resembles your discipline. And it just speaks to why they would hire you, right? Same thing with strategies, okay? Automation is about being able to provide performance metrics, that doesn't mean that you are going to be the next George Jim Soros and you're going to be the best trader. You need to be able to understand 
if you have an environment that is profitable in an out of sample test just as much as an in sample test. How many of you guys would agree that back testing is only 50% of the equation? It needs to perform in live markets. How many of you guys would agree with me on that? Totally? Everybody? Should be. Should be this like breathing here, oxygen. You can't live without it. Exactly. Okay. Well, we build a lot of automated systems. And the difference with this is that we did it differently. We didn't build this as an algo. <laughs> this was one of our top, top selling indicators that we literally ran trading rooms for years, trading live in front of hundreds, if not thousands of users in real prop accounts. And so whether you, if I show you a back test today, that's fine. It's just going to, uh, I guess you would say, reiterate everything that we've been proving for, for a long period of time now, manually, live trading. So the cool thing here is that you came here for one reason, to find a better edge so that you can make more money. Yes or no? Give me a yes or if that's accurate. You came here to learn something. You came here to find a strategy or a system that can make you more money, and you want to be able to take less drawdowns, right? Well, what if I told you that this is the type of strategy that doesn't require you to have to be optimizing all the time because the settings are basically the same settings that we've been using for years, trading the system manually in prop accounts. Now, that doesn't mean I don't believe that optimization shouldn't happen. This just means that you're not going to have to treat this system like every other algo because it wasn't built like every other algo. Okay. Now, these were trades taken from our trading rooms when we ran the AT Trader trading rooms. How many of you guys remember that? For those of you that have been around for a long time. For those of you that remember the old days when me and Gilbert and Roy and Bobby and all that were running rooms and we're all joining forces. This was a little while ago, maybe a couple of years back, right? When we first released the AT Trader, it was literally the most profitable trading indicator that we've ever released. Why? It's based on price action. It's not an indicator based on momentum. It's not lagging. It's literally based off forecasting trend lines and basically taking trades based on the breaks of those trend lines. We're not trading pullbacks here. These are This is a trend line break system. And so these are screenshots of us trading this back in 2023. Look at the screenshots of this. This is not some algo that we just built because we wanted to run a system. Look at this. These are live trades from people trade. Look at the date on that NQ trade. That was 2022. These are all pictures of our users using this manually. This was not even in the desire of building automation around this. Okay. Now, over the last several years, I can't even count how many people have said, hey, Sean, can you automate this? Can you automate that? Right. And there's a reason, right? I truly believe over the years, I have seen more evidence that automation is a more profitable approach than manual trading. Why? Because I believe that humans can create major problems in risk management and emotional management. Now, I'm not here to say that there are not a lot of profitable manual traders. I'm just here to tell you that I've seen a whole lot more systematic traders make a whole lot more money than manual traders. There's a bigger learning curve with manual. There's a little bit of a more of emotional journey with manual trading. With automation, if you can expectantly get yourself on the right side of a signal system and you can use that properly, you're most likely going to come out ahead. And I'm a big believer of time in the market, meaning if I can get a system that gets me in and out quickly, I have a better edge. Now, I do believe in big runners too, but those are only going to be really great on those days that give you that movement, right? And I'm here to tell you that Automating trend line breaks, okay, automating trend line breaks will give you signals in small moving markets and also big moving markets because you're going to get trend lines in tight ranges and you're also going to get trend lines in big, big, big trends. So it really doesn't matter because we're not swinging for the fences here. You're going to have accuracy. The reason why we automated this is because a lot of traders would miss the trades in the AT trader because when it breaks the trend line, they it breaks so quickly that they couldn't get into the market. They had no accuracy of the signals. They would be chasing or they'd be late. And next thing you know, it would already hit targets before they even got into the freaking trade.
right? So they're sitting there saying, Jesus Christ, that was a great trade, but like I missed it, right? Automation gets you into that, right? We're also able to validate what's unique about this is that everybody gets an automated system. They back test the strategy, then they optimize it. And then they're like, hmm, I wonder what's going to happen in a walk forward test. Well, that doesn't make any sense here because we've been walk forward testing this for since 2022, for two years with the most profitable results across all of our users than any other strategy we've ever built in the history of our company. Since Arc released its automa its indicators and we moved everything into Arc AI, the AT Trader has more social proof in all of our discords than any other indicator we've ever built, period. So we've been, traders have been trading this manually for years. So when we do a back test and we do an optimization and it shows profitability, it just confirms what's already been done. There's no need to walk forward anything because it's already been walked forward. Like I can show you maybe 150 traders using it in Discord that will tell you that right from the get-go. How many of you guys would agree that that's a completely better way to validating your system if it's already been live traded by hundreds, if not thousands of people for years? Now we're just automating it to make it more efficient so that you can get in quicker and you don't miss trades. Plus you get the data, you can back test it for your own ego. <laughs> <laughs> right? Because that just helps stroke the ego a bit when it all just kind of make you warm and fuzzy inside. So Arc AI is known for pushing the boundaries. I don't want to get into too much weeds on this because we're going to do this in the AMA tomorrow. But our core engine is the backbone to what we'd like to think, how we've revolutionized the automated industry. Um, we've changed the automated space because it's become the narrative. Like if you go to other trading platforms or if you go to other vendors and you buy a strategy, you're, you're kind of like, well, you're just shooting by, you're shooting blind, right? Like the arc engine is the core behind everything we do. We take the signal systems and we integrate it into the engine and the engine allows us to build and test and optimize using all the different parameters. We've, we've created the gold standard in the space because of this core engine. And this core engine is actually going to become the default platform infrastructure inside of TickBlaze. My vision for this core engine will be the actual platform of TickBlaze. It won't need to be used in independent systems. It's going to be the backbone to the entire quant infrastructure for our platform. Why? Because it allows traders to build and test and optimize systems using money management, trailing stops, targets, and different types of per trade windows. I mean, filters, you name it. But what's nice for you is that you're not just getting a system. You're getting an infrastructure that allows you to take a strategy and make it 10 times more profitable by giving it different variations of different con conditions. Now, that takes a bit of a learning curve. That also takes a little bit of time and experience. So what we do for you and what we do for everyone else here is that I have Jeff and we have four algo ambassadors that we've interviewed, we've met, they're using all of our systems. And when we finish the development, Jeff and his team of algo professionals, what they do is they spend a month building the strategy using different variations, testing different concepts with the system. We, we basically have an optimization team finding the best parameters using the engine so that when we do these launches, we give you the best templates that are working right now. You don't need to be a rocket scientist. You just need to get the templates that we're using. Now, that doesn't mean that those templates are going to be the holy grail for the rest of your life. It does need to be used with respect to the market conditions. But doesn't that sound a hell of a lot better than just buying a black box that you have no control over, that you don't even know how to test it? You don't even know how to change the times or change the results or change the money management or any of that stuff. We give you that in our engine because that is the backbone to automation for us. And if you're new to this, I promise you that when you learn all of these settings, how to set your targets, how to set your stop losses, how to set your trend filters, how to set your momentum filters, how to set the time of day in which you want to be trading, and then how to block the noon hour or how to block news events, et cetera. That is going to be the difference between somebody who's just getting into automation and becoming a master of automation. Okay. So let's get into it.
AT trader, baby. In my experience, I have never seen more traders make more money than on this system. How many of you guys remember Roy when he was running the room? Crushing it. Running it with trade copiers, trading the AT trader all over the place. What about me and Bobby when we were running up the discords? I was me I remember posting pictures with Jim and Bobby and us. We were AT Trader was the staple for everything. I even I I seen some screenshots in an email not too long ago. It came back and 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 it had the AT Trader in it. <laughs> I was like, you're still using the AT Trader. He's like, it's the only thing I trade with. It's the most profitable system that they have, right? And then Jim came in and we started bringing in the AT Trader and the VWAP and all that stuff. But the AT Trader has been the backbone over the last three years for what I think is what revolutionized our entire community's prop firm infrastructure. And why? Well, because it just works. And it works so freaking well that it happens every single day. And how many of you guys can identify a trend in the market? Yeah, give me a yes. How many of you guys know how to draw a trend on your chart? Well, the problem is, is that you're all going to draw the trend from different places. Everybody can see a trend, but everybody draws a trend from a different place, right? So what we do is we remove that subjectivity from your business. Like you're not going to have to think about which anchor to use and which, which pullback to use. We automate the entire trend trading process. And then what we do is we automate the breakpoints. And then we also have multiple different stop placements so that you can trade your stops based on structure or based off of different variables. Okay. And so here's a great example. Uh, you'll see that you're going to see these little zones that are attached to the trend lines. We call that the buffer zone. Why? Because there's a certain section around a trend line where the market's going to respond. And a lot of times you'll get into a trend line and you'll take the trade and then it won't break the trend line. We want to see it break the buffer zone. We want to see it clear that realm of space so that you're not just taking a trade on the trend line, you're letting it actually break the trend line so that you have the probability of it hitting a very fast target. Now, I don't care if the market gives me 100 points. I care that it gives me five. Why? Because if I have a trailing drawdown, I don't want to be in the market for the big runs. Now, that doesn't mean you shouldn't capture the big runs. I'm here to tell you that if you're looking at taking a quick profit, that's what this design, this system is designed to do. You'll notice that a lot of times when it breaks a trend, it'll give you huge trades. That's good for our ego. And it's also good for who, those of you that are maybe trading your own accounts and you want to let a big runner go. That's fine. But everybody here just finished telling me that you're a prop firm trader. So time in the market is all we're looking to extract. I want you to take a trade and I want you to take a profit very quickly, like very quickly. There was the first target. And then we squeeze price. Some of the templates that we've built, we've executed a runner. Why? Because our stats told us it was more profitable. Imagine that. We took a strategy that we already knew was extremely profitable. We have years of live trade data behind it. But during those days when we were manually trading, we never had the ability to test if T1 or T2 or a trailing stop would increase the efficiency. We've been able to do automation and we've been able to see that running trailing stops makes it more profitable. Isn't that what automation is designed to do? If we have an edge, can we make it more profitable? Well, our templates have shown us that running trailing stops on these and squeezing price, it really just extracts great trades. And we would never have known that if we didn't automate the ET Trader. So I'm excited because this is going to improve the efficiency for many users that are used to trading this type of strategy. Now, a couple things I want to talk about. Entries. <clears throat> we have different entries. Why? Because we can test different ways in which to enter the trade. We can enter as a break of the buffer zone. We can enter at the close after a break of a buffer zone or we can enter after a full bar has traded below the trend line. And, you know, we, we have different stances on this, uh, different bar types behave differently, right? A time-based chart versus a Renko will behave differently. So there's different ways. We're going to cover this in the AMA, right? But if you're trading on a variable range bar versus a Renko bar, the way in which the bar breaks the trend lines will be slightly different than that of a time-based chart or a tick-based chart. 
right? So this is why we have three different entry mechanisms and uh, our templates have already been optimized for the best one. So you can use those right out the gates and then you can learn about them in the AMA when we're gonna do training tomorrow, okay? Give me a yes that everybody understands this concept, right? Because there's different ways to trade the trend line and we wanna make sure that you understand your entry, right? Most people are always wondering, well, why am I entering the trade? What is the entry? What is the rules for the entry? It really depends on how price breaks, the trend line breaks, okay? Now, we have uh, two different uh, concepts here for stop losses. This is very, very important, okay? When you use trend lines, you can use a structure-based stop, which is very common, or you can use a very tight stop, which is the EMA method, okay? And... Uh, we have different results with different stops. It's not that one is better than the other, it's just different. And some people will prefer to use the structure as a stop loss, and some will want to use very tight squeeze methods for the stop losses. It really just depends. It also depends on how big the swing structure is. A lot of times you can get structure that's close to the trend line, and then there's sometimes you won't, it'll be far, far away. So depending on the market that you're trading, some markets have bigger swings and some markets create different structure levels, right? So it really just depends on your market. But the nice thing is, is that we've actually built in two different types of stop losses so that you can use both depending on your needs for tight risk or loose risk management, okay? Now, here's a great example of if you were using a structure stop, Okay, so let's see, here's a downtrend. Here's the anchor one, here's the anchor two. It creates the buffer zone. And then you'll see we wait for a close, breaking the trend line. You'll notice how the stop loss, if we used a structure stop for this, the risk would have been huge and the target small. That's not bad if you understand you need a very high win rate for that, which is completely fine. It's just you have the flexibility of having a stop loss here that is tighter, and that gives you a one-to-one -one R multiple with very small time in the market, right? So here's a great example of a break again. Okay, we had anchor one, anchor two, forecast the buffer zone. We wait for the break, right? We don't take it here. You take a lot of heat doing that. We wait for it to clear the buffer zone. You'll see that this stop, if it was here, it would have been here if it was a structure stop. So this is why we have the flexibility to use tight stops or bigger stops, just depends on the market, okay? Now, a couple things. I think this is one of the biggest advocates to your business in that depending on if you're using structure stops or EMA stops, your stop losses are gonna be changing from trade to trade, right? And when your stop losses get smaller or bigger from trade to trade, what ends up happening is, is that your position sizing will need to change. Well, there's nothing worse than having to change your position size every single trade. To me, that's annoying. And to me, that's also prone for errors. You'll make mistakes and you'll over leverage or you'll under leverage and you won't be consistent with your money management. So one of the benefits of our Algo engine is that we've built in a money management solution that allows you to choose fixed cost money management. And what this allows you to do is that when you have variable stop losses, okay, if your stop loss is 10 ticks or if your stop loss is 20 ticks, our, our software will automatically change the size of your positions based off of the size of your stop. And this is one of the reasons why our algo engine is so valuable because it automates your money management. So you don't have to freaking be a, a rocket scientist to do this. You just learn the signal, learn the on and off switch and let it do its thing. You set your dollar value risk per trade, very valuable because let's face it, if you're a prop trader, if you're a prop trader, if you're trading a 50K account and you're risking 1% of that, well, that's 5K or 500, excuse me, right? And you're not going to risk that and you're not going to do that. Like if you have, let's say 100 grand, right? 100K account. Sometimes people will say 2% risk per trade. Well, that's $2,000. 
But if your drawdown is only four grand, you're risking half your drawdown from the prop firm on one trade. It doesn't make any sense. That's why we implemented fixed cost because most people are using dollar value risk versus percentage risk when you're working for prop firms. Not too many people are going to use, oh, I'm going to risk a percent or half a percent or 1% when you're trading for prop firms. It's not a viable money management solution. So we've implemented this so that you don't have to be thinking about your money management as the algo is running. Now, there's a whole lot of other bells and whistles here we can talk about in the AMA, like high watermark and profit for money management and stuff. But like I said, we don't need to... Uh, we don't need to be a rocket scientist right out the gate to do this. I want to keep things super simple for you, and then you can learn it in the AMA, okay? So how many of you guys are excited about this? I'm going to give somebody a free license right now. I like giving things away. I like to give everything, everybody a chance. I'm going to uh, run a poll. Ready? One, two, three. Let's launch it. Just put in the chat box. You have to be in it to win it, guys. I got, yeah, pick me, pick me, Todd says. I think RJ's in here too. I think he pinged me last night on Skype. Where are you at, RJ? See if he's in here. Good old RJ. We used to work together a long time ago. Good people. <laughs> Everybody, you just need to start saying, I am a winner. I am a winner. I am a winner. And you, you bring that energy towards you guys, <laughs> right? You bring that energy, right? I'm a firm believer of you. You, you, know, you think about it, you attract it, right? Great. Okay. I'm going to shut it down in three, two, one, done. Okay, so let's talk about this a little bit. I want to show you this. More live trades. These were traders. I've traded this. Roy's traded this. Jim's traded this. Gilbert's traded this. Bobby's traded this. Tons and tons of people in our community have traded this. How many of you guys have taken trades on the AT Trader? How many of you guys in here have taken trades using the AT Trader? Give me a yes. I can already see just tons and tons of people. Okay. That's why I'm a big believer of seeing is believing here. This is not just me producing an algo. This is me to show you that we've got so much traders trading this manually. Okay. Look at all these trades. These are all different traders posting trades. Take a look at these ones. I just, I just took so many screenshots of our discords from this. Like, look at all these trades. All these people trading the AT Trader on different strategies and different systems, and they're all just crushing it because trend lines happen everywhere. Trend lines happen every single day. And you you can't deny it. They're just, they're always going to be there on every single market, which is one of the reasons why you just learn to love this because it's there's there's always going to be opportunity, which is what traders need because you need a business that produces trades on a regular basis. But more importantly, you need a business that's super clean, super easy. How many of you guys have been in a webinar where sure the strategy seemed great, but in the back of your brain, we're like, fuck, that's like, that's complicated. Like, you know, like I'm going to have to learn this and I got to study that and I got to figure out what they're doing. And then I got to try to follow along. You don't need to do that here. Like it's a trend line. You let the market break the trend line. You let the algo enter the trades and you just take it. The problem is most traders miss it because the trend lines break with rapid speed and uh, you don't want to miss those trades, right? Like these are real traders posting. Like, look at these, like this is their stuff. Like, look at this Lee. Remember, I don't know if Lee is in here. Lee, you in here? <laughs> this is you buddy. I think I seen a Lee in here. Probably him. He's one of our guys, one of our traders. These are him. Like he's since the AT trader. These are people posting a while back, 2022. We're just trying to show you that there is a lot of people trading this stuff before automation was ever a discussion. The cool thing about automation is we were able to validate it even more so by back, backing it up, right? Backing it up with the results of both backtest optimization and live trading.
Big, big difference, right? Here's another example. People are emailing in. I'm having unbelievable exults. These were a while back. I'm just pulling back all the stuff from traders trading this stuff because most people are going to say, oh, it's just another automation. It's just another algo. No, this is not just another algo. This is literally one of the most profitable things we've ever built, and we've turned it into an automated algo. Okay. So JJ is asking, I thought this system was newly automated. How do you have testimonies from 2022? Maybe you missed that, JJ. This is not a new system. The indicator was built years ago, being used by hundreds and thousands of traders in our community. We had extreme, extreme amount of requests to automate it. We turned it into an automated system. So we're showing you all the results of all the traders trading it manually. And now you can just rely on automation so that you don't need to do that, right? Now I'm gonna basically show you this, guys. I'm gonna run a demo. This is a video, I'm gonna show it to you live. I'm gonna turn on the mic. So let me know if you can hear it. Hey traders, Jeff Zimmerman from Nora Street here. I filmed this short video to show you the all new AT Trader Algo in action. It's our new automated trend line break trading system. So what you're looking at here is micro ES futures on a custom Renko chart. And we'll start out with a short example. I'll play the video and then I'll break down the trade for you afterwards. Take a look. Gotta love Jeff, guys. If it wasn't for him, none of us would be here. So you're gonna see the automation. You're gonna see the trend line is moving the buffer zone by automation. The trend line is there. If it breaks the buffer zone with a close below the zone, it's gonna execute the trade. Order submitted. Boom. Now you see a T1 and T2 there. T1 is a very quick scalp. Order canceled. It's going to squeeze price. Boom, boom, boom. Watch how fast the market moves. Look at how look how fast that trail stop. Boom, done. That's a prop firm trade right there. Didn't hit the second target. Didn't need to. Because the market like, just sizzles, right? Just You get these massive surges so and our trailing stop will squeeze price. We have an uptrend line. When it breaks the buffer zone, it enters short. And now in this trade, we had two targets with a trailing stop. We hit T1 and then exited on the trail. Nice little short for a quick profit. Okay, now let's look at a long. I'll play the video and then I'll review the trade afterwards. Take a look. So watch what happens. The software is gonna automatically plot a trend line when the second anchor proves itself to be structurally sound. You need the structure to come in first. There it is, boom. You had enough movement, very strong volatility. The trend line automatically plots. Now, normally, this would be where you would have to start planning your orders and start dragging your targets and moving everything around. That's the hard part of using the AT Trader manually. And so, Order done. submitted. Automation. Watch how fast it surges. Boom. Order canceled. Very quick spikes. If you, boom, it's, and then the trail stop kicks in. Watch what happens. Once you get to a certain amount, boom, there just starts squeezing price. We would have never known that that produces more profitability had we not have automated the system. Because back in the day when you trade it manually, we only have what we have based on manual stats. Automation allowed us to improve the efficiency of the system. And Order canceled. Done. Very clean. You don't see about a mess on your charts. And there you go. We have a downtrend line. Breaks through the buffer zone to enter long. We hit T1 and we got really close to T2 before exiting on the trail. Another great trade using trend line breaks. Okay, traders. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. We'll see you at the AMA tomorrow. How many of you guys thought that was just clean and simple, easy to see, no confusion, not wondering what this line is doing and that's what's the rules for the trade? Like how many of you guys want simplicity? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, right? So Steve, I don't know, Steve Rocks, are you in here today? I mean, we got some pictures from you. We got Ty Ty in here, good old Bobby crushing it with $10,000 days. Every day, Bobby would just trade the AT trader. The guy's one of the most profitable traders that we've ever seen. Boom, right? Like this is just, all using the AET trader, okay? And so 
like I said, a lot of people have seen us release a lot of automation. We spent years trading this. And the reason we didn't automate it sooner is it takes a lot to automate the indicator systems. It's not easier code. It's a lot harder to do. It's a lot more testing, a lot more bug fixing, et cetera, et cetera. Um, Terrence says this strategy only works on Renko's. No, it works on anything. We've just tested it on intraday Renko's. Um, uh, we have some templates that we've pre-built for everybody. What I'm going to do is, uh, before we get into pricing, let me show you that. Let me show you this. So these are some of the templates that we've produced just over the last couple of weeks, just to prep for the event. I mean, uh, and by all means, like that we we could test this on any market you want, trend lines or on anything. But uh, I mean, let's just talk about like profit factors over three consistently, high, high win rates, quick targets. Let's go in here and basically take a look. Like that's the S&P over the last couple of weeks trading the AT trader system. Let's go into the chart for a second. Let's just show you this, right? Like the market comes in, okay? Very quick. Let's take a look at this. Take a look right here. I'm just going to grab it. See the buffer zones? We were able to test, and this is very, very important. We were able to test the size of the buffer zones. Before in the past, we had no way to know that, right? We had no way to know if it was a big buffer zone or a small buffer zone. We just trusted a trend line. We took the break, right? We've been able to determine, okay, that having slightly bigger buffer zones gave a lot more conviction on the entry and take a look, you know, boom, target, target, right? Same thing here, breaks the buffer zone. We take the trade, boom, quick target, and then gives us the second target, right? You're not going to see a bunch of noise on your chart with this strategy. You're, the job of an AT trader is to keep it super clean and just trade the trend lines when they break. And we ultimately do so in the direction of trend a lot of time. Uh, Good question. Friends saying, is the buffer zone fixed or dynamic? It can be changed. Uh, Jeff, maybe you can let me know if you if you have it on a dynamic setting, but I think it's just optimized for a certain... You, you can optimize it for certain sizes is basically what I believe it to be. Well, there's two options. You have fixed size like you see there, and then there's ATR, which will vary in size bar by yeah. bar. Yeah. And which so doesn't like, matter as much with Renko, but you know, with, with variable, but variable candles, it will. If you're using volume charts or tick charts or time charts, the average true range can basically uh, adjust, right? But if you're using range or Renko charts, then you're ultimately going to, uh, it's going to be fixed. Yeah, right. So, I mean, we've got templates for crude oil and S&P just mainly because they're two of the top uh, most traded markets, right? Like this is crude over the last couple of weeks. And uh, let's just go in here, take a look here. Let's take a look here. Let's go back and try to find some trades. See, and, and you're going to see, we don't take trades in some of this, like, take a look at this. We're not taking trades in here. There's a reason, because I believe Jeff has a trend filter on these so that basically when they take the trade, they take the trade in the right direction, but take a look, right? When you're on the right side of the market, take the quick target, right? And then there was the trail stop. Here's the quick target and then the runner. Now take a look at this for a second. I want to talk about this. Like I said, at the beginning of the event, who in here is a prop trader, right? <clears throat> if you took the entry here, and your prop firm target was right there, okay? You're not breaking your trailing drawdown. Stop loss is here. Does that mean you can't take the rest of the market if you wanted to hold on for bigger profits? You can do anything you want. But traders are always saying, hey, Sean, like, I want to pass the prop firms. I want to get funded. I want to stay funded, like the trailing drawdown. I get all that. But what is the objective? Are you trying to catch the big run every single day or or do you do you want to basically make a profit and scale 10, 20 accounts? Like we both know the mathematics behind that and it's a lot more valuable to take trade, you know, quicker objectives and trade more more accounts than it is to try to always hit that trade every single day. Now I see that the runners on these trades on the these markets um let's go back here Take a look. Take a look at this one for a second. Okay. Like you could have big runner trades. It just depends on you as a trader. Is that what you want? And we've set it up to take quick targets, but I, I promise you, if you go back and look at all the trades that we're taking, it runs a lot. So you may be able to be a little bit more liberal on your trailing stop, a little bit less tight on the trend trail. Like you could have squeezed up to here, maybe a little bit bigger, which is fine. 
but we only have so much time to test. And we only have so many people, right? So how you want to use it is is really up to you. And 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 you know we want to make sure that we can give you the best of the best right out the gates, right? I mean, we're looking at extremely strong numbers across multiple markets with really high win rates, very reasonable R multiples for quick targets for prop firm trading. And that's exactly our mandate. Like our job is to help you have the best strategy for prop firm trading, guys. I just, I just can't stress this enough. We do not swap products. So if you've bought other products from ARC and you want to swap it for this, it ain't happening, right? It costs us hundreds of thousands of dollars to build these systems with people and teams and deployment. Like the, the, we do not swap products on launches, okay? However, if you do use the system for the next 30 days and for whatever reason you want to exchange it, you're not excited about it. You can swap it for any of the hundred things that are in the ARC website. Okay. So we have a love it or swap it guarantee. We just want to make it very clear that you can't swap on launches. It doesn't, we just don't, it's our policy. It's been our policy since the beginning of Algos. Okay. So AT Trader, who's coming to the event tomorrow? You have to be an owner of the software. You need to get the Algo. What I'm going to do is I'm going to run a poll. And this poll is going to tell me if I'm going to be running extra training. I need to know who's getting this. I need to know, um, let me just run this. We need new polls, guys, next time. I'm going to create a new poll, okay? Give me a second here. I'm going to run a poll. I need to know this so I can determine if we're going to run extra training or not. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna launch this poll, okay? I need to know either you're in it to win it or if you're not. I just wanna know because this is going to be an epic transition. Let me reiterate, this is hands down the most profitable indicator we've ever built. I have years of social proof, years of traders trading this manually. If you emailed me tomorrow and said, Sean, what is your best algo? And I'm gonna say, you want simplicity? I'm gonna say, yes, you want statistics? You're going to say, yes, I'm going to tell you this. Why? Because i got years of back testing manually, right? Like all the other algos we've released, great systems. And they're very, very profitable. But we never traded those manually in live markets for two years before we launched it, right? Like the AT Trader has been traded, time-tested, battle-proven. Do me a favor and answer yes or I need help because I need to know if you're really going to be doing this because then me, Jim, and Jeff are going to put on extra training and I'm not going to put on extra training unless you can give me the bare bones if you're coming in. I need to know because I got to allocate resources of my team to put together events and stuff like this and I want to make sure that we can help you guys. Okay. And I appreciate you just letting us know it so that I can help my team help you guys. Okay. You need to have the system. You need to buy the system today to be able to come to the AMA, okay? Because the AMA is going to go over the algo. And then what's going to happen is if enough of you guys are going to do this, then I'm going to put on extra training into next week with Jim and Jeff, okay? So, so far, we're at about 70-30. If you don't see the poll, maybe you're on a tablet or if you're on something else, um, you know, just uh, use the link, right, Sabrina, if you're planning on it and just buy, we'll know because you'll be in the list. Yeah, just purchase. You'll be in the list. You'll be invited anyways. Yeah. Okay, so Ashley, uh, people are getting CAPTCHA errors. Just if you have an account with ARC, log in to your account, then purchase. Maybe in the future, Jim and Ashley will put that on the slides so that everybody knows that. Be great. Yeah, log into the account if you have an account with ARC already. And... Uh, do that. Yeah. Perfect. So I'm going to leave that poll up, guys. Do me a favor. Before you go to the landing page, before you go to the purchase page, before you all do that, answer the poll, please. I need you to answer that poll because I need to need, I need that if so that I know where we're at in terms of planning the events, right? The poll is absolutely important. You're going to get the link to buy here. You're going to get an email, you get all that stuff. But I need to know in the polls if you guys are in it with us. And so that way we can do that. Can you guys promise to do that? And uh, if you need help or if you have questions or if you need assistance, Jim's going to follow up with you after this event. If you don't ask for that help, how will we know you need it? 
Please answer the poll. <laughs> poll doesn't show up, Greg. You're special, brother. Just type in here if you're yes or you need help, and then Jim can write that down. He'll follow up with you. If you're a yes, then there's no need. Right? Just put yes or I need, need help. Different Greg. Greg T. I've got a few Gregs in here, Greg. <laughs> Greg Swo. <laughs> Mohammed needs Jim's help. Perfect. So I have hey, another Sean, question. Sorry, oh, yeah. just to, to interrupt here for a quick second. But if you are getting that capture error, uh, I just recommend you just clearing your browser out, uh, either clearing your cache or cookies. That will help reset it. It's just a setting that is in a restriction in, in your browser. And if you just clear that out, it'll allow you back in. Thank you. Thanks, Neon. Appreciate it. I want to thank everybody for being here. It was a huge turnout. Glad to have you guys all here. Um, I can't stress enough. This is just uh, it's such an opportunity for us to be able to bring this to you guys because it was uh, there's a lot of fame and fortune behind the AT trader. A lot of traders just really achieved success, and uh, I promise you that uh, automating that success makes it even better. And I promise you, you won't be sorry with this uh, this this product. This is something that is true to my heart because I've seen a lot of people really, really change their trading for the better using this. And uh, by automating it, it removes all of those errors that the that everybody would have as a, as a manual trader. And uh, so I'm really excited for the AMAs. I'm really excited for the events coming. And uh, we got a lot of people. I'm going to gauge the poll and then I'm going to combine the poll results with how many people actually move forward and purchase the products so that we can get a better understanding of how many people are going to need extra training. And, uh, yeah, I'm excited to put that on with Jim and Jeff. So guys take care and uh, have a fantastic evening. And my team's going to stay around uh, tonight to assist every one of you guys. But if you're going to be there for the training tomorrow, uh, you know, we need you guys on it tonight. So make sure you get complete your orders tonight so we can get you into the rooms. All right, traders have a fantastic, yeah, we already did a giveaway. Uh, we're going to announce the winner. Um, yeah. In an email at the end of the, at the end, we normally do that. Perfect. Take care, traders, and uh, have a fantastic day. Thanks to Jim and Jeff and all the teams for building this out and actually getting everything ready. Truly can't do it without the team.